Facebook. Hello, Instagram. I wanted to come live today and give you my update on my bioidentical hormone. Um, as most of you guys know, I had it done about four weeks ago. It was my second round. It did not go as good as my first round literally did. Um, so I, oh well, right? Um, so I found, I was hoping that my levels would be low actually when I had the blood test because first of all, first thing I want to say is after the first time I had, I mean the second go around, the first time, um, my butt has still been sore. It's really crazy and it's healed. Um, but anyway, um, what else is going on? So I have had soreness. I did not experience the weight loss I experienced the first go around. I also am still having the extreme insomnia issue. Uh, and I'm still feeling the exhaustion when I wake up in the morning, but I'm up to 2, 3 in the morning every night because I can't sleep. So I explained that to, that to my um, doctor yesterday, and she went over the blood test. Good news is my cholesterol is back to normal, so the supplement helped uh, with my hereditary uh, cholesterol issues, the LDLs that I have. Um, so that's back to normal, thank God, but my blood test came out where my hormones are pretty much level, but because I'm having these experiences, she decided to up my testosterone, which means that I had to go through another pellet procedure yesterday on this butt instead of this butt. So I am a little sore today and I'm going to be doing a lot of resting over the next couple of days because I can't really exercise. Uh, what did you say? Have I tried celery juice on an empty stomach? No. Anyway, um, so as I was saying, I had to have the other pellet put in my butt over here, just testosterone. And again, I will be um, seeing how I do with that. Uh, the testosterone, she said, should help uh, the mus getting me more muscle mass and maybe being able to get another uptake on losing a little more weight. Not that it really matters. You know, I'm in a good size. I'm a size six. I just try to control the, really it's bloat though. I really got to control the belly bloat that I've been getting. And it's really just bloat, seriously. Um, because when I go in the sauna, I weigh more. I mean, I weigh more before I go in the sauna. But then when I go in the sauna, it's like I'm back to my regular weight. It's the weirdest thing. So it's really water weight. And I explained that to the doctor as well. And she is going to give me, she's giving me a prescription to another hormone um, to see if that will help, if I take it at night, if that'll help me sleep and maybe help me with the bloat. Um, we will see. If not, my backup plan is definitely going back to the magic gel. Um, even though I had some acne issues with it and some dry peeling skin with it before, I decided I'll try it, but try it again if I can't get the sleeping under control because I'd rather deal with the skin issues and having the ability to go to sleep over um over anything else and the fact that it, that magic gel does help me lose weight and maybe it'll control the blow you know so i am gonna see how this round goes in the next two to four weeks and if it, if i can get back to normal without getting the gel then i'll be fine but if i need the gel i'm definitely gonna get it um anyway so let me say this so y'all know. I do not sell the gel. I do not, and I have no no inclination of joining the business with the magic gel um, because I have enough with my skincare business. I really don't want to add more to it. I actually was trying to slow down for my skincare business a little bit because I wanted to make time for springs in the air. Soon the sun's going to be out. And soon it'll be 80 something degrees and I'll be on the beach every day. So it wasn't make time for me. So I've kind of like slowed down on a lot of my follow-ups I do on a, on a, ba a basis. I only follow up people that are interested now. I make sure I ask if you're interested and you want me to follow up. I will. I have no problem with it. 
but I've kind of backed away because I want to have more me time. And the craziest thing that happened with my business, it went up because I didn't work it as hard. Is that crazy or what? But I look at it this way. It was three years of hard work with a lot of the customers that I've gained over the last month. Those are people that either I've been talking to for six months to a year, and then it was a couple that I've been talking to for like three years. Um, so I feel like that hard work finally paid off and that's why I'm getting new customers. My business is still growing even though I'm not even working it that hard at all. I mean, I'm spending one day a week on it now, seriously. Um, but I'm going off the subject. Okay, I was trying to say I do not sell the gel. I don't want to sell the gel. It, but I want to explain to you guys what it is. It's a human growth hormone. Um, and it's a cream. You put it on, you put it on your, usually with your thinnest part of your, your, uh, skin and you rub it in and it works really great. I really had some great benefit results on it, but if any of you guys are interested in learning more about it or you are thinking about buying it, um, let me know and I will send you one of my friends links because I have a few friends on Facebook that sell it. But anyway, I hope you guys have a fabulous, fabulous day. I will be taking it easy over the next couple of days. But if any of you guys need me or I have any questions about my skincare, I am definitely available for you guys. Um, that's all I have to do but lay in bed and be on my phone. So if anybody needs me, all you have to do is message or comment or anything. I'll talk to you guys soon and I hope you all have a fabulous fabulous thirsty. Bye.